Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of this morning podcast radio thing I'm doing called The Zorse. This is like the third episode. Yeah, this is the third episode. Uh, sorry, I'm still recovering a little bit from Katana. You know, it was, uh, it's been, what, 10 days, over 10 days now. I'm still recovering. This stuff sucks, man. It kind of comes in flows. Um, anyways, so that's enough about that. You don't want to hear more about that. Nobody wants to hear more about that. Everybody's probably got a little bit of it or, you know, had it already or, you know, is deathly afraid of it hiding in the corners you know i'm just kidding guys uh i know people aren't like that some people are but not a lot of them it's becoming more and more normal um welcome to the new normal i'm just kidding guys uh i hate when people say that um i'll never kowtow to the new (laughs) normal uh that's just not who i am i'm a big rebel on the inside um, you know, just kind of, uh, resilient to stupid normal, uh, new normal stuff. <laughs> Going back to the old normal. Whatever happened to the old normal? I like the old normal. Let's go back to 2019, shall we? Um, anyways, back to my main point. Welcome aboard. If you're new, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm doing this morning radio thing. People like it. People have been telling me that they want to hear more morning stuff. If you like hearing it, let me know in the comments section below. Or you can send an email to me at zolianpodcast at gmail.com. That'll be in the description as well. Um, So, uh, also, before we continue, you know, if you uh, are so inclined, feel free to give a donation. If you like this show and you want to see this show flourish, appreciate it. Every little bit helps. That'll also be in the... uh, uh, in the description below as well. Thank you. Anyways, so I have been kind of delving into the world of tabletops, like even more so than I have ever had before. Now I've played tabletops, you know, but I'm never like a commenter about it, right? I never thought about talking about it, you know, going into detail about it. It was always just a side hobby I did that I enjoyed. You know how you have, everyone got a hobby, right? Everybody's got a hobby, but do you ever have like a hobby you don't really talk about? You just kind of keep it on the low, not because you're embarrassed about it or anything like that, but it's just, it doesn't have any bearing in the conversation. It's just never something that just comes up, right? You know, tabletop is kind of a very specific kind of niche, right? You know, D&D and uh, any kind of OSR product um, or even just a custom RPG that people made. Right. Those are all very niche kind of experiences, you know, Um, you know, family friendly, you normally, uh, you know, very community focused. And by community, I don't mean like online community necessarily. I mean, local community. You get to communicate with people. You get to have a fun time with people. It's board game night, basically, right? It harkens back to the board game days where your family, you know, you get to bond with people. You get to have a good time with people. You get to socialize. That's the most important part. That's the part that kind of really, that's the glue that kind of sticks everything together, right? It kind of keeps things together. And a lot of friendships are formed through that. I'm going to tell you something, man. A lot of the strongest friendships I have, you know, kind of encircle some sort of activity, right? Something that you are doing as a community, as a group of friends, you know, whether it's music or you're playing a sport or you're building something, whatever it is, you're bonding, right? You are having a good time with these people. You're sharing life advice. You're trading notes. You're swapping notes. You're learning about each other. You're learning about yourself. You know, this stuff is about, you know, experience. It's not about the actual activity. It's the experience of you know, being with other people, right? It's what you feel about the experience, how you finally look back at it, the memories you take with you, the lessons you learn from it, the perspectives you learn from it. These things all matter. That's what made tabletop beautiful, right? It's not about the specific thing. It's not about that it's fantasy or or whatever. It could easily be sci-fi. It could be sports. It could be anything. It doesn't matter. It's a MacGuffin. Okay, it's a MacGuffin. It could be anything. The important part is, is you're bonding, you're having a good time, you're learning about each other, you're learning about yourself, you're having that experience. And so that's the kind of thing that I've always enjoyed about that kind of experience, that kind of a uh, hobby. And so um, it's just something that never came up. But watching like everybody kind of explode about what happened with D&D. 
right? Seeing people freak the freak the f out, like lose it because of the OGL drama, um, and just kind of knowing that D and D will never be the same again, right? Knowing that you know your favorite kind of game, really like that catch all game, that mainstream game, will never be the same again. It'll be watered down. They're moving on. They're being corporate. You know, and to me, in my opinion, they always were corporate. But the difference is now they're out in the open. It's full mask off. I have always seen that as a silver lining, right? It's a silver lining for me when I watch somebody who's a big corporate entity uh, fall apart, you know, kind of show their their true selves, right? You know, yes, I understand you feel the betrayal. I understand that. Never going to say it's it's un it's not fair. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, yeah, it's not fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm never going to deny your um grievances. I get it. You feel a betrayal from this. It that's 100% okay. My thing has always been now that this is happening, where do we go from here? Where do you want to go from here? Where do you see yourself? Have you freed yourself from this? Have you seen the plethora of other games out there? There's a lot of them out there. You got to give yourself that, you know, ability to, you know, just try something. Try something new. It's okay to try new things. I'm sure you will find something just like it or better. Things that are good never last forever. And that's okay. The most important thing is... They can't take away from you the experience you had. They can't take away that feeling you had. They can't take away the people who you met. They can't take that away. You can just make a new group of games to to play, right? You can find a new place, a new space. You don't even have to change the world you're in, right? You don't have to change the uh, the fantasy world you're playing in. You can just adapt it, mix around, play with it. Remember, Gary Gygax had always been about just making things up also shout out to tim cask he was always about making things up just make new things have a good time with it there are no wrong answers you have to allow yourself that freedom okay because at the end of the day this is your fun you have to be the captain of your ship that's why i call it the shadow pill it's all inclusive you have to take the reins for yourself okay or at least be in a group where someone is doing that for you who you trust, right? Somebody you know who can handle it, who can do it, who does create fun stuff, and you've enjoyed things that that person has made in the past, and you feel confident that they're going to make something even more fun. That's great, too. Nothing wrong with that, you know? If you need recommendations, let me know. I, I will throw in some recommendations in the, in the comment section. Um, there's lots of stuff out there. I mean, I'm going to make one. That's how confident I am that, you know, you can make one. I'm going to make one. I'm sticking my neck out. I'm going to put my universe in that product. Um, it's going to harken back to a lot of the games that I've played. Uh, there will be a module. I think maybe I'll use it as a promotion material for the book. It'll be fun. I'm going to have a great time. And I hope you'll be there to join me. Um, you know, I think it's, again, like I said, you got to look at the bright side. This is a good thing you know wizards is a mega corporation they're gonna do what mega corporations do and then eventually they're gonna be you know back to the drawing board and figure out how can we get the people back and at that point it'll be too late just like what, what happened with fourth edition they did the same thing they lost a lot of people a lot of new competition came out of that it's gonna be the same thing it's a cycle guys it's just gonna go back to the same thing they're gonna mess up they're gonna realize they messed up they're going to probably make a new product called D&D 7th Edition and try to harken back to, <laughs> you know, or maybe 6th Edition. You know, they'll probably try to harken back to what made them good. Some people will forget why, you know, everybody left. And they're going to try and go back and they're going to fall for that same trap again. But you guys are smarter than that. You'll figure things out. I trust you. I believe in you. Just believe in yourself and find your own path. I have faith in you. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Uh, God bless you. I hope you have an amazing morning. There will be another video uh, later today. And uh, have a great day. Fly high, bro.